YouTube. Yeah, that's much better. I had to stop the... I had to stop the recording just a second ago. But as you can see, today we're playing The Invisible Hours. Another VR game. The newest one on my roster. A very interesting game about uh, solving Nikola Tesla's murder. So, I think we're in going to be in for a treat with the murder mystery. Let's see here, teleport. Let's see here, pull lever. So, I just need to look at these controls. Oh, yeah. Grab your ticket. Delete your ticket. Delete save game. Insert ticket. And slot. Okay. Okay. Hold trigger to activate teleporter. That's on this one. And I can also turn, so I'm be moving my left, basically. Yeah. So, this is going to be an interesting game. I've been looking for a game to uh, do for a while now, and I think this is going to be the first one. I actually got a whole lot of new ones for... Uh, the holidays, but with Christmas and all, because I haven't had a very easy time trying to find a good series to start up again, but I think this is a good start, especially for a, a, a New Year's Eve special, going into New Year's. Right or left? They look the same, so I'm just going to go right. I wonder if this game has a... Uh, smooth motion controls. Because I would actually prefer that. Wait, what? Rewind, fast forward, grab. But yeah, I got a lot of good stuff recently and uh hope to share it with you all. Cast of characters in order of appearance. So is this the credits? Hmm. So, do I just stand here? Hmm. I didn't even see the options part there. Welcome, this is not a game, this is not a movie, this is a piece of immersive theater with mi the truth is a matter of perspective. Well, 
I can hear whispering out there. Chapter 1. Press T trigger to pause time. Hold circle button to fast forward. Hold cross button to rewind time. Okay, I see. So I guess we have the power to manipulate time. Hello. Captain. When are you coming back? Captain. That'd be a never. So much for that. So, uh, nice weather we're having here. Yeah, I better cover up my own head. So, what do you got in the briefcase? Hello? So, where are you going? I just got here myself. Strong silent type, huh? You know, I think I'm taller than you. Yeah, I'm taller than you. I've got to be at least six foot five in this. Hello? Or at least six foot. He's probably just short like the real me. So, what are you crying Miss? about? Miss? Are you alright? What he said. I'm fine. Excuse me, but the evidence seems to suggest otherwise. Would you tell me your name, please? Flora White. Flora. Could I persuade you to Hello? get out of the rain, Flora? You'll catch your death out here. She's under a gazebo. She's fine. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla has fresh towels and a nice fire. Inside. Do you know him? Hmm. Do I know who? Tesla! Do you know Mr. Tesla? Well, obviously you must to have come all the way out here. Is he your friend? Uh, my friend? No. I just came along for the ride. Then I've never met him. To you. He won't let me in. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla is a man of common decency. Of course he, he'll he let you inside. I'll, I'll make sure of it. Please.
So am I just invisible here? That seems to be the case. Now what makes you think Mr. Tesla won't let you inside? He told me so. That or I'm he just turned me away. really ignorable. What's this? Miss? I believe yeah, you dropped. Yours. Oh dear God, thank you. Thank you, I couldn't bear to lose this. It's very pretty. Here, wait a minute. I want to know what you have there. Hmm. Yeah, let me grab this. Huh. I'm still not quite sure about... my role in this what are you R F Hmm I believe this could be yours. Oh dear God, thank you. Here, wait a minute. Thank you. I want to look at something real fast. All this invisible rainbow around me. Hmm. Oh, so I can just go in anyway. Huh. So I'm still not quite sure what my exact role here is. But this is interesting nonetheless. Okay. Bad to lose this. That's very pretty. So you were saying Mr. Tesla turned you away? Why would he do that? What's your name, sir? My name is Gustav. You're very kind, Mr. Gustav. But I'm afraid this is a private matter. Hmm. Judging from the trees, either a really big storm brewing recently, unlike the one uh, going on right now, or it's winter, getting to be past winter.
the door. It's open. Something tells me with these time bending powers, there's already stuff going on that I don't know about. I have to tell you, that would make for interesting replay. I would actually give this game quite a, bit, a decent amount of replay value, or at least at least one more pr playthrough. If it's going the way I think it is. Is he alright? Um, he's dead. You can see where the blood right there. Stand back, miss. Okay, someone's coming up behind me. But first, I want to examine something. This is like some sort of, could be a, some sort of crank. Hmm. Interesting. That orange part there is the most interesting thing about this gun. been trophies I just don't know what they are all right is this the blind servant what's going on here ah, detective Gustav hi zoom my apologies I, I didn't hear the bell you must be exhausted Sweden is a long way to come from. If you will be so kind as to follow me, I will show you to your room. Stop! Who are you? I... I am <coughs> Oliver's one, sir. Mr. Tesla's manservant. You're his butler? Yes, sir. What happened here? What? What do you mean, sir? Are you blind? Yes, sir. Blind from that. Well, that explains three of us. that. How many people in this house? Four, sir. Call them down immediately. Bang the gong. Sir? You're a detective. Bang the gong right now. No, I'm not. But he called you detective. Mr. Swan? Sir? How many exits in this building? Only the front door, sir. But 
All the windows can be opened from the inside. What's that? That's the murder weapon. Why the devil is the dinner gong being rung at such an hour? Um, oh you do see the dead body right here. Is okay, he yeah, you do. Mr. Swan, stay where you are. Who are you? Edison. Thomas Edison. Edison. Oh, there we go. The Tesla invited me. Who are you? My name is Gustav Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's right. The detective so good they named him twice. Um, look. I read about you in the papers, of course. Really? The downfall was quite Shakespearean. Really, do you not see the body? Who are you? I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world. That's Sarah Bernhardt. The Divine Sarah? Hmm. And you? What's your name? My name is Augustus Vanderberg. I'm Marcus Vanderberg's son. Marcus Vanderberg, the famous railroad magnate. I can't be here. I, I've got to get out of here. Nobody's going anywhere. Well, I can't be here. I mean, what are people going to say? They'll say Tessa had himself an accident. Oh, this was no accident. He died from a blow to his head, and the blood has only started congealing around the edges. This happened less than ten minutes ago. What? What? The uh, what what's going on? A murder suspect. We all are. We can't leave him like this. Hmm. I need to mark the time of death. My pocket watch is still on Swedish time. Mr. Edison, you are an American. You have the local time. Yes? Why does he look so old? The time, please. Six o'clock. Here, wait a minute. Exactly six. Is it really? Yes, it is. He's telling the truth. Proceed. Six o'clock. Exactly six. There's someone out there, look! Wait, what? Nobody moves. Let me see who it is. All right. Stop. So that's what fall what that does. I'm unarmed. I hope so. For your sake. Back to the house. Why in God's name didn't he get shoot it? Questions first. Stop. <laughs> Mr. Swan. Okay. We're going to pause right here, and we're going to rewind. I want to see where he came from.
Just, I thought, things are happening. This is getting interesting. Uh, where are you? There you are. So wait, was he just sitting here for a while? He's still moving. So, is this as far back as it goes? It's not saying anything, it's not doing anything. Fast forward. Oh, the little time notch. Here, wait a minute. So, let's rewind. So how long has he been dead? It almost seems like we can just go ahead and solve the murder right here. He's still there. Okay, it's not going to go any further. It won't let us.
So he's been sitting there for a good few minutes. Yeah, after after roughly si roughly six fifty. So they discover the murder. They discover the murder roughly five fifty five. That guy's been sulking there for at least five minutes. So. Let's follow what he does. I need to scratch my nose. Why won't you talk to me, Lord? How many times do I have to confess to you? I sinned. I murdered. But I want to be a better man now. So why do I still want to kill that little wretch? Do you want me to do it? Is that it? Then show me a sign, Lord. Tell me what kind of man you want me to be. If you want me to change, <laughs> change me. Aside from myself. <laughs> Sir? How many exits in this building? But all the windows can be opened from the inside. He proclaims himself to be a murderer. But oh, is he really or is he just yeah. being dramatic? <laughs> Or does he blame himself? That's the murder weapon. Mr. Swan, stay where you are. Who are you? Edison, the inventor. My name is Gustav Gustav. That's right. So let's see what he does over the next minute or two. I have a feeling time is going to be, ex other than the pausing and fast forwarding or rewinding, time itself is just the clock. It's going to be really interesting mechanic in this game. Nobody's going anywhere. 
So what are you going to do? Some tells me this could be a very interesting game. Graphically, it's not, you know, groundbreaking, of course. But just the way this game seems to be designed is... Is absolutely amazing. I hope so. For your sake. Back to the house. Why in God's name did we get shooting? Questions first. Okay, this is where I'm going to pause it. So. He was there, praying. Calling himself a murderer. But what was she doing? Let's rewind and find out. I have to go back five minutes for all of them. Well, ten minutes, actually. Because the game begins at 5.50. That's a lot of head banging. Yeah, the game the game begins at five fifty, so we can establish that. I have a strange laugh. <laughs> you know, when I actually get up real close, it's actually a, quite a bit of detail in the models. <laughs> I 
There, there. I'm here for you. Kinda. There, there. There, there. So, do you just... Okay, so it doesn't start at uh, 5.50, it starts at, uh, this whole game starts at, uh, roughly 5.42, no, 5.47, I think, roughly speaking. I just saw something just now. Can I get that ring? I guess not. Hmm. There's the boat. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking earlier that this could be a short series, but you know what? I'm not so certain about that anymore. Because there's just so much detail to go over. Yeah. Time to pause. We're gonna go back to the start and try and find the rest of the people. See what they're doing. Okay. Let's see where all the others are. You know what? I'm actually really excited about this. Because I actually have to think like a detective. Grant, a disembodied detective that is invisible to everyone. But a detective nonetheless. So, where is everybody? This is actually a good chance to just, just to look around. Top hat. Is that Nicola? And a little girl? Or wait, is no, is that the blind servant and a daughter maybe? Huh. Well, anyway, let's move on to our original task. Let's try and find where they are. Now, I want to find the manservant first. There's that guy. Run the greenhouse. Okay, there he is. Let's take a quick look at our surroundings.
Ham. You know what? I think I just figured out another mechanic to this game. It's actually really interesting and whenever you think about it. In order to keep me, the player, from finding out exactly what's going on. Considering there is something in there, I just don't know what. I won't really know what it is unless they actually open it. That's actually kind of ingenious. Let's see what else we got here. Is that emergency latch? Oh, wait a minute, this one is open. So yeah, while time is stopped, I cannot really open anything. I can lift objects, but I can't actually open doors. Or at least not in the tra traditional sense. see what we got here. Normal. Okay. Now, hold on here. Snake and a lion. I better remember that. That could come in handy. Okay. Let's see what the butler does for a while. We're going to follow Swan. Start. So, supposedly, he is blind. He closed that window. But I can actually believe that if his senses are that sharp. And if you look right there, he seems to have a limp. Doesn't seem to be any unique markings. Okay. Continue. Let's see here. Five fifty five, five fifty. Yeah, the game starts out of roughly 5.47 to 8-ish. You know how they normally say the butler did it? I have to say, if we did do it, He's putting up quite the act for s someone with no one to look at him. 
for an extended period of time. Then again, that could be because of just the other guests. All right, we're going to fast forward a little bit. I almost forgot I could do that. So it looks like for just for no reason he just uh, stopped. Maybe he just felt like he was done. Oh, wait a minute. Is he just polishing it? Come on, what are you doing? Okay, this is su suspicious. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I could see now. He just sensed the guest, which is simple enough to understand. And now let's see, let's fast forward. See what happens when that other guy goes. You know, it's kind of strange, really. This... I don't know how long exactly this game will take to actually play through. But then again, that doesn't really quite matter to me because this is just so fascinating. I've never seen a game have me, uh...
uh, want to think kind of quite like this before. <clears throat> all right. Let's see what all these four are going to be doing. Nobody moves. I don't know, I can't see. I can't make it out. Please! Someone, tell me, what the is happening? The killer's trying to escape. How do we know that's the killer? Innocent men don't run. But the name of the guns are not to be trusted. They're coming back. Why in God's name didn't he just shoot him? Maybe he'd rather ask questions first. Or maybe they are friends. Ah... Oh. The suspicion is already growing. Stop. Mr. Swan, where's the dining room? Wait a minute, where'd those guys go? Maybe he'd rather ask questions. Okay, that's suspicious right there. They're coming back. Why in God's name didn't he just shoot him? Maybe he'd rather ask questions first. Okay. Time to pause. Alright. We're gonna pause. We're gonna follow that guy right there. For him to go that way, that, that is suspicious. For him to go away like that, just like that. All right, rewind. We're not gonna see what he did right there, but we're gonna see what he was doing before. This is a nice room. So, he's been here the in for basically the entire time. Dundas, 1845, Old Whiskey. So who were you to Nicola?
Oh, that's not ominous at all. Illuminati signal. I'm keeping an eye on him. That is highly suspicious. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. So for Mr. Vandenberg, Okay, what's your story? So it looks like he doesn't get up till five minutes before the action starts. Wait, what? Is that the actress? I'm gonna have to see what she's up to next. Really, a few minutes to six, he's just been drinking and wallowing in sorrow. All right, move it a bit. Okay, so this room is almost right above the foyer. 
the foyer, or rather. Just sip this one. you I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world that's Sarah Bernhardt the divine Sarah okay so you. we're gonna pause Go right ahead. there so we know what he's been doing this entire time I'm gonna save Edison for last because technically, he's actually the most suspicious of all of them. Well, thus far, we have a detective, a crying lady, um, a, a morning drinker, I suppose, and a guy who could, who calls himself a murderer, but is he really? And this is where we where we start. So let's look around her room a bit. Press triangle button to read. Let me see which button that is on here. Okay, it's on the top right. Disgraced Swedish detective quits. Detective Gustav Gustav has taken early retirement from the Swedish police force. Once famous as the inspiration for the mystery novel, the detective so good they named him twice. Gustav is now better known for foolishly releasing his own prime suspect during a murder investigation. Following his recent divorce and financial troubles, Gustav is not expected to return to law enforcement. Hmm. And we'll go ahead and pause this because we know what she's doing for a little bit. Now it looks like that's it. Oh, his, her door is closed. 
So that tells me one thing there. It's like she's just been getting some more some uh, reading done. Five fifty one. She's done with her book. But what's the book called? An Actel Never Lies by Thomas Ever. An Actel Never Lies by Thomas Abramov. The great Actel's mission is to tell a lie that is indistinguishable from the truth. But beware, an audience smells a lie as a shark smells blood. The acting techniques found in these pages will teach you how to make the untrue become true. You will learn to live as your character, night and day, until you are but a memory. Only the character will survive. So, she is an actor. Question is, is the person she plays in this game the real her? Or just a persona? Let's find out more. She has quite the nice model, if you don't mind me saying. You want to make love to me? Huh. <coughs> you want to make love to me? <laughs> sure. I said. You want to make love to me. Why not? Why the devil is the dinner gong being rung at such an hour? All right, there we go. Now we can follow. There's a bathroom. Petal invited me. Who are you? Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's right. 
The detective so good they named him twice. I read about you in the papers, of course. Your downfall was quite Shakespearean. Hmm. Who are you? I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world. That's Sarah Bernhardt. A good question is, why is she Sarah? here? And you? What's your name? My name is Augustus Vanderberg. Okay, so... Vanderberg, son. We're gonna pause here. So, we know what she was doing. She was trying to seduce me. But now... It's your turn. Let's see where you've been all this time. Because it's historical fact that Nicola and Edison hated each other. So this should be the most interesting backstory of all. We can probably safely conclude that uh, he's probably been here the for at least the last five minutes. Mr. Edison, you promised innovation. You promised greatness. Yet ten months after investing in you, we are still left wanting. If you cannot fulfill your obligation to us, do not expect us to fulfill our financial obligation to you. Sincerely, J.P. Morgan. Mr. Edison. So you see here, it seems Edison here would have the most incentive of getting rid of Nicola for the money. Of course, there's always Tesla. Tesla to Edison. Dearest Thomas, let us dispense with euphemism. We both know you did not invent the famous Edison phonograph. It was the work of Louis Le Prince, a man who then took his own life because you stole his life's work. This is the last time I will ask you. Come to the island or I will tell the world. Thomas, I can make your mistake undone. Sincerely, Nicola. And that just adds more fuel to the fire. Because right now, Nicola is the prime sus suspect. He was from the very beginning. Except here, we can actually establish a motive. So let's see how things play out here. <clears throat> so we know why Nick, why Edison was brought to this island, why Nicola wants him here. Well, no, actually, not exactly. We know how uh, Nicola brought him here. 
but we don't know exact, the exact reason why he brought Edison here. Where does he get his ideas? Thomas Edison seems to have more ideas than one man could master. Ask him, and he will tell you he has the mind of ten men hidden inside his remarkable cranium. A charming gentleman, with a wit only matched by his education, Edison puts it all down to sleep. He rests a mere six and a half hours each night. That felt like sarcasm. What is that? It's a Tesla coil, I think. Or at least something similar. So we have a photograph. When I look at this again, was, yeah, that's our actress lady, right? All right. Hmm. Tessa was a genius in life, but he died a pop, a pauper's death. I mean, in. Tr in real life, Jefferson did tr uh, cheat him quite a bit. So... The foyer, whereas before we were on the left, over on that guy's in, we're on the right on on Edison's in. How much time has passed? I can't believe it's only been 30 minutes. Oh wait, no, it no, it's been it's been an hour and a half. Well, I think once we get to the foyer, that's where I'm probably going to stop for the night. But I tell you what, I think I might do this. I might do this every night until I finish it. Sit in this building. Only the front door, sir. But all the windows can be opened from the inside. You want to make love. That's the murder weapon. Why the devil is the dinner gong being rung at such an hour? My God. Is he dead? Mr. Swan, stay where you are. Who are you? Edison. Thomas Edison. Edison. The inventor. Tesla invited me. Who are you? My name is Gustav. All right. 
let's uh, fast forward here. Wait until all of our There he is. There's someone out there, look. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, so I believe this game saves automatically. If that uh, little thing is any indication. So this is where I'm going to stop for tonight. And I will continue this tomorrow night. After, uh... I'll, I'm going to start, start again tomorrow night at around 10... Uh, it'll probably go about an hour and a half. And we'll go from there. So, see you all. Uh, stay frosty. Bye.